It's cup tie time in the English League Cup. And I can sense the extra buzz amongst the supporters as we came into the stadium. And here we've got for you today Aston Villa against Plymouth Argyle. The Aston Villa team for this game. And we put it out here, Alan, as a 4 4 2. Would you go along with that? Yeah, I think to begin with, it'll be interesting actually. The manager does like to change his shape at times during a match, but it looks like it will start this way. Have a look now at the lineup for the visiting team. With the way this manager likes to play, that four's going to sit pretty much in place, and the two in midfield as well. Yeah, that uh, defensive two won't be going too far, they won't be getting ahead of the ball many times, they'll be just trying to feed it into those front four lads. Aston Villa, they'll want to show themselves in a better light today than that home reverse in their last match against West Bromwich Albion. Yeah, it was uh, a 1-0 defeat and a bit of an inquest afterwards. Uh, manager had a few stern words to say. I've got to say, I do fancy them today to win. The referee asserting his authority here early on, giving that free kick. Gary Gardner. That would be a throw. Watang. Simpson. Cox. Sawyer. And there is some uh, backup for him in this position. Nelson. Well, it's a pretty robust start to the game. It's certainly a foul, but the referee's kept his cards in his pocket. Aston Villa trying to get a win, and this is a match they really are expected to win. It's not always a situation they find themselves in, Aston Villa, but it certainly is today. Reed. Shots on here. Got in and blocked it. It's going to be a throw here. Harvey. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Scott Sinclair. Got support here. Well, that was looking good, and now it's turned over, and all the potential of that attacking play is lost, and they now got to get back and try and make sure they don't concede themselves. Very good position. Shots off! What a fine save! And the decision is a corner here. <laughs> oh, lost possession here. Well, and Reed Carey and in goes the cross, and that will be a goal kick. Coming up for you, of course, on EA Sports, the presentation of the Barclays Premier League fixture. Aston Villa, they'll be facing Liverpool away from home.
Yeah, I've had a lot of supporters get excited about it, and I am as well. Here's Reed. And here's the shot. Well, they've got a corner out of that. A bit lucky, it was deflected. Very good, in truth. And Crespo making a run. Sinclair. Aston Villa have possession again. Nelson. Sawyer. Carey. Well, that's a good challenge between the two of them there. Watang. Sinclair. Well, when we say it's an athletic game these days, this guy sums it up. Yeah, one of those a manager would love because they get a nine out of ten most most match days. Being uh, moved around nicely here with this passing game. Now that's a throw. Got in the way there. Gary Gardner. We well, could be in. Sinclair. Offside called, and we can see again now. Well, it's a good call. Yeah, I think it was. And in the end, not a difficult one because there was a couple of yards in it, I think. Well, it could be a busy man, this manager, because. We're hearing that he's been offered the chance to manage the international side on a part-time basis and keep this trip. Yeah, I mean, he's got to think carefully, I think, Monty, because uh, he doesn't want his uh, workload to become too much and uh, both both teams suffer, so it's a big decision for him. Cox. Now Reed. Meller. Nelson. Harvey. Now Reed. Carlos Sanchez. And there is the half-time whistle. Nil-nil at the break. Steady at best in the first 45 minutes. Still 45 minutes to go, of course. He worked hard enough, but just didn't come off for him. But he's got another half to put things right. <laughs> 